Hi, I'm John Clausen. I write and illustrate books for children. Most of my books don't have a narrator, which means that all the words in the books are the words the characters themselves are speaking. And that means that if someone in the book is lying, there's no one around to tell you so. In this book, there are two characters who lie. Let's see if we can figure out which ones. Hi, you guys. My name is John Clausen, and this is my book, I Want My Hat Back. I have done a couple books, but this was my very first book I ever did by myself. I wrote the story, and I drew the pictures, and we're gonna read this book today. Does that sound good? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. This book is about a bear. Did you guys know that this is a bear? Some people think it's a beaver or something, but it's a bear. Yeah. Okay, good. Like a beaver. You thought it was a beaver? I couldn't tell if the bear was mean or nice or both. Here's our bear, and he says, my hat is gone, I want it back. Bears usually don't wear hats anyway, so why does the bear need a hat? The bear meets a fox, and so the bear says, have you seen my hat? And the fox says, no, I haven't seen your hat. And the bear says, okay, thank you anyway. When you look at someone when you're talking to them, that's usually what you're supposed to do, right? Yes. I'm not good at that. I always end up looking at the ground or at the ceiling or something when I'm talking to somebody. It's hard to do to look right at their face. But the bear isn't good at it either because I'm not good at it. But he ends up making a mistake because of that. It's interesting that the animals acted like people in the story. And now the bear comes to a rabbit and he says, have you seen my hat? And the rabbit says, no, why are you asking me? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any hats anywhere. I would not steal a hat. Don't ask me any more questions. And the bear says, okay, thank you anyway. Nothing weird about that page, right? When the bear saw the rabbit, he was clearly wearing a hat. So I think it was about eye contact that he didn't notice the hat. And now the bear comes to a snake and he says, have you seen my hat? I saw a hat once. It was blue and round. And the bear says, my hat doesn't look like that. Thank you anyway. I thought the story was like a detective story. It was a mystery book. And now the bear comes to this thing, and I don't know what this thing is. He's kind of an armadillo mole. No, I kind of like made an one up. He's an anteater. He's an anteater? He's sort of an, an anteater? An anteater penguin. He's an armadillo mole anteater penguin. The point was that the bear had walked a long time today, and he had sort of asked everybody, and he ended up on the edge of town with this guy, who no one even knows what he is. Have you seen my hat? And whatever this guy is, he says, what is a hat? And the bear says, thank you anyway. So now we've asked everybody. And the bear lies down on the ground. And he says, nobody has seen my hat. What if I never see it again? What if nobody ever finds it? My poor hat, I miss it so much. The bear didn't have a lot of expressions, but you could always tell what he's thinking. This book is bunny, set. Here comes a deer, and he comes and finds the bear lying there like this, and he says, what's the matter? And the bear says, I have lost my hat, and nobody has seen it. What's going on on this page? Something new is happening. Oh, they're looking at each other. They're looking at each other, that's right. So when you look at someone, just like this, or like that, you look right at them, then you start thinking different things, right? But they look at each other, and the deer says, what does your hat look like? And we don't even know what his hat looks like. He's never described it to us, right? We've talked to the snake, and the snake has said, I saw a hat that was blue and round. And he says, my hat doesn't look like that. So we know it's not blue and round. But he's about to say, my hat is red and pointy. Have we seen this hat? Yeah. Who had this hat? Rabbit. The rabbit, rabbit had this hat, right? But all of a sudden, he realizes he's seen it, and he sits up, and the whole page goes red. Then the bear says, I have seen my hat. I really enjoyed when the bear realized what happened to his hat. The bear runs back past all the other animals we've seen, and he finds the rabbit, who is still sitting there. 
breaking this little branch. He didn't even leave after he got away with lying about it. And the bear says, you, you stole my hat. The rabbit and the bear were definitely not friends. He sits there looking at him, and the rabbit looks back. And there's not even any words you can put on this page. They'd probably be bad words. And so instead, what we drew here was the way my mom used to look at me when she was really mad. She would look like this. She would look like she couldn't even believe how upset she was. I would lend my hat to someone if they need to borrow it, but that's not what happened here. So now the bear is just sitting there, and he's wearing his hat, and he says, I love my hat. No sign of the rabbit. Well, I definitely didn't see that coming. Maybe he just sat on the rabbit. And now a squirrel comes, and he says, excuse me, have you seen a rabbit wearing a hat? And the bear says, no. Why are you asking me? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen any rabbits anywhere. I would not eat a rabbit. Don't ask me any more questions. The reason why I knew he ate the rabbit is because he said I didn't eat the rabbit. I could tell that the bear is lying. I was definitely not expecting the bear to eat the rabbit. If someone stole my hat, I'd probably just ask them to give it back to me. But that wouldn't make for a very interesting story. And that's the end of that book. Not all kids' stories have to have happy endings. I think the moral of the story is don't lie. Does anybody have any questions about yes. this book? Lots of questions? Yeah. How did you come up with the idea for this book? The idea of the book came from the title, I Want My Hat Back. I liked the idea of it being about a bear, and we're not used to seeing bears wear hats. Yeah. Were you trying to teach kids a lesson, and what did you want to teach them? I think if there's a lesson on this book, it's that you should read very carefully. And it's important to look at everything you're seeing and reading and put it all together yourself. Yeah. Why did the bear lie to the squirrel? That's a good question. How do you know he was lying? Because he saw a rabbit. What happened to this rabbit? He ate it. He ate it? Yeah, he, he ate it. Did everyone agree on that? He ate the rabbit? Yeah, he ate the rabbit. Definitely ate it. Maybe because he said, um, I didn't eat a rabbit, maybe he actually ate the rabbit. So the only way we know he ate the rabbit is because he said he didn't eat the rabbit. Yes. I think that's right. I think that that's one of the most important parts of this book. No one says what they did, but we know what they did because of what they said anyway, right? Yeah. Why would the rabbit risk his life for just a hat? I don't know if the rabbit thought he was risking his life, but I think you are risking your life when you steal hats from bears. The bear wonders it too. He thinks, why? Why would he have done it? I don't think there's an answer. Couldn't the bear just get a new hat? I don't think he could have. I think this hat is like a pretty special thing that just blew in from someone's birthday party sometime. What story would you like to tell about your favorite animal? Does anybody know how to work the hole punch? Look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have one. This is my animal hat, and my story is about a magical rabbit. She lives in the forest, and she likes to dance. I'm almost done with the teeth. And my story is about a cheetah. He sees his friend, the tiger, and then they go race and play. Do you have any orange pom-poms? Uh, it's kind of like, uh, like a mouse or something. I don't know what it is. I just made it up. It's really cute. It is a rainbow owl. It's a fox, a very special cat. And the reason this cat is special is because he's based on a real cat, my pet cat. Who really likes to go hunting at midnight and it really likes to be sly and, and very sneaky. This owl is one of the famous owls in the United States, and he has a big mansion and parties a lot. It's a little My story is about a crab that becomes friends with a leatherback sea turtle, a tiger that lost his stripes, and at the end, a rabbit helps the tiger paint his stripes back on his body. My mouth can poop everywhere, so this is why I'm not gonna wear it on my head. The end. How did you make that? Oh, like, can I put it down here? That's cool. A narrator might tell you who was right and who was wrong, but that's something I want you to think about. It's not always an easy question. An easier question might be, what make-believe story would you tell? 
I love to tell make-believe stories. I'm going to tell a story about a magic soccer ball. Someone who has superpowers when they tell the truth. And nothing goes missing. Where no one's hat was stolen. Someone who lied but turned honest at the end. Whatever your story may be, just make sure you don't lie to bears.